So this is the just announced uh, Lemax Pro. This is the world's first smartphone to be powered by the next generation Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor, the SoC rather, um, uh, which features the quad core uh, 820 built on the new cryo cores, uh, the custom core architecture from Qualcomm. Um, so it's not just the first smartphone in the world to run Snapdragon 820, but it's also the first smartphone in the world to feature Qualcomm's uh, next generation uh, uh, Sense ID fingerprint uh, sensor technology, which is um, their ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. And what that allows for is quicker unlock speeds. Um, you can't really show that on camera, but as soon as you touch your finger to the sensor, it recognizes and unlocks uh, way under a second. I mean, a second's way too long, way under what anybody else can do right now. But the second thing is, because it's ultrasonics, um, it's detecting beyond just the ridge of your finger here. It'll detect be uh, through sweat and grime. Um, because it's actually doing subdermal detection. It's actually going under the finger ridges, detecting your sweat pores and the vascularity. So it's not just more accurate, uh, the reads are more reliable because it can read through sweat and grime, but you know, it's uh, harder to spoof. You can't just like take uh, uh, an, uh, uh, an imprint of your finger and uh, put it on there and fake it because it's not just reading the ridges. Um, the extreme use case, you can't cut off someone's finger and use it on the sensor because uh, the vascularity goes away at that point. So. Um, we also have the 21 megapixel uh, rear facing camera here with a dual LED flash. Um, one really cool feature that I like on the top, it's got an IR blaster. So that was a feature that a lot of smartphone makers were uh, using uh, maybe two or three years ago, um, but have since kind of dropped off. I don't know why. We really like the IR blaster. It uh, makes it a really flexible device to use as a remote. It's a smart remote, it'll learn. Um, and it's got like all our uh, super phones, they has a USB type C uh, connector. And in fact, we ship with a on spec uh, power compliant uh, USB C cable, but also a little uh, adapter tip so you can turn one of your uh, micro USB cables into a USB C cable. It's it's a small little gesture, most people look past it, but I think it's it's nice that we do that because for most people, the cable that we ship with might be your only USB-C cable, so you wanna have a little bit of options without having to buy another 10, 15, $20 cable on your own. Um, so, now to the screen, this is kind of our pride and joy. It's a big screen, 6.33 inches, quad HD. Um, it's about 465 pixels per square inch, um, so pretty high up there. And, um, you know, it's really responsive. The digitizer we really like, but, um, one thing that may not show up on camera is the images almost seem to kind of lift up off the screen and it almost looks like you're touching pixels and not the screen itself. And that's because, I don't know if it's going to be possible to make it out, but there's this little uh, raised edge on the, phone, on the glass here, right above the phone frame. And uh, my finger is actually, my nail is actually riding on that edge. We call that the floating glass display because the, the glass is actually lifted up from the body a little bit. And uh, the, re the way we pull that off is, if you notice, the phone doesn't have, the screen doesn't have a grommet around the glass. The glass goes straight up to the metal uh, unibody aluminum frame. And uh, what that allows us to do is truly give you a truly edge to edge glass display, uh, which looks stunning, reduces the bezel. This bezel is almost non-existent so that when you're holding it in your hand, it almost looks like you're holding the screen and not the phone itself, which is actually, that looks super cool, I think. Um, and of course you can customize the color calibration on the screen because our heritage as a streaming content provider we're big on visual impact we want everything to look pretty so you can customize it to your preferences and um, you know when you're actually ready to start streaming um, uh, this is uh, powered by Marshmallow Android Marshmallow we put our EUI on top this is EUI 5.5 and what that allows you to do is get quick access to streaming content. This is uh, video on demand. This is your on demand library. Just scroll it that way. You can access it by a quick swipe from the right. You can also access it from our app, which has a slightly different format and slightly different categories. But this is kind of cool. It comes with the live button. When you hit this live button, you go into your live desk and you'll notice if we get good enough Wi-Fi here, that these top three panel, uh, uh, tiles here, they're updating with content. These are preview streams, but what's really cool is these are live broadcasts. These are broadcasting right now in real time, and we're uh, previewing them here, all three simultaneously. And as you scroll up, as you can see, these are other options. You can tap into them and get access to those live streams as well, but notice this one still keeps going. So you can, you can continue to watch this guy, or if you stream all the way down, you uh, scroll all the way down, you can see uh, the three simultaneous live streams as well. So and of course the capacitive touch uh, navigation buttons there. So that's kind of the, that's kind of the Lemax Pro in a, in a nutshell.